Join me on this journey of how I created this level 100% from scratch for the Game Dev Knockout Jam Round 1. In the oh snap, I need to get started devlog, I explained how I want to make a game level that is literally messing with time and space. And so we're going full MC Asher, Impossible Staircase, the cute port town edition. I started off just throwing a rough geometry at my chicken scratch grease pencil. Curves or simple edges made with control click and some modifier stacks. And then fly through and think, mm, yeah, good enough, let's go. The key is to split the world into the three different sectors and three transitions. And the idea is that as we go clockwise around the town, it both pushes time later and literally has you spiraling upwards, hence the impossible staircase. And so each top level collection here ends up being a GLTF export, which I export with selection only and apply modifiers. And then with at least one primitive export for each sector and transition, I started to code the pieces together and get a basic character walker to go around the scene. The key is that each sector and transition have these 3D points which are used to line up the next piece. I could then have arbitrary height being added from one section to the next and still have it loop back on itself as long as I properly deload the other sections, which I didn't really do properly, but oh well. Then it was time for the sky, which was not going well. Due to a bug, colors and skylighting was just not working well with my computer's graphics and the day-night cycle was pretty critical to, to the game, so I, I had to fix it. So I made the leap of faith to try Godot 4, use the auto-conversion tool and everything with th like three days left in the game jam. And my sky was starting to look nice enough anyways, thanks to HSV Lerp. And once again, we're moving on. We, we, got a, we got a lot of models to make here. And so then comes along Jan 13th. I started by opening up my texture painting software and said, nope, nope, that's not happening. No time for that. Scrap that. We're going strict, no texture, low poly. Where I initially thought I was going to use Kenny assets, it wasn't even time to figure out what to use from, from all the assets I had even demoed and looked at before. Nope, everything was being made custom from scratch. And so the key was just to create a consistent density of detail, keep messing with the proportions and a proportional editor so nothing's truly flush, and just like kind of cut away and just, just mush it to make it feel more handmade. And so that way everything felt consistent because everything was made just exactly the same way. I used some particle systems to help randomly place stones and then would mostly hand place bricks to make the wall stick out and register as a brick wall. All the while I'm constantly re-exporting from Blender and then boom, just reloading in Godot 4. It's fantastic. But at this point it's January 14th and I haven't even made the central part of the game. Literally the center of the game, the clock tower. Let's speed run this. I need to have a functional clock tower to submit this game. At first I was thinking having a 2D texture projected and animated in the sub scene, but I knew that would take more coding and I, I didn't have time for that. So we're just gonna animate some rough arms of a mesh. Super simple, gotta place some tiles on the roof and then with some proportional editing, just make it a little less, less square, less regular, and then create the scene, do some embarrassingly simple math to finally get a properly rotating clock tower clock. Nice. And really at this point, it's the mad rush to just slap everything together. Need to create a staircase, boom. Need to create a sign, boom. Need to create a texture for the sign, <laughs> nope, no, no time for that, never mind. Then we gotta create some planks, let's cut some, cut some holes out of it, some slivers to just give it some character. And any time to make a castle, <laughs> nope, no castle, we're just gonna, we're just gonna place this here and call that a day. Oof, yeah, it's fine. I had all these plans for a big story about a, a prince rebelling against his father who imprisoned him, breaking out of jail, and then you're going to the market to then get materials so that the cake stand can blah, 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 blah. Nope, none of, none of that happened. Absolutely none of that. The only thing I had the time to actually do at the very end was just make it so that the door is closed just to make it so the game played from midnight to midnight, just a simple 24 hours. I didn't even get to making an interesting model of the door. It's just a flat, curved plane. I promised my friends I'd go to ice skating. I had to go. Submitting in two hours, no time. Just, that was it. And so, 
there you have it. This is the, the final level I was able to create in one week, even though the original jam was two weeks long. Uh, hopefully I make it to the next round or otherwise I hope that I, yeah, it'd be interesting if I actually did come back to this project and flush out the story that was intended. So maybe stick around to see if that happens. Thanks for watching this devlog and until next time.